100 transplants happen in hospitals around the country every day. But it's not every day that those looking for a match find one. The need is great, the donors are few, and the search can seem hopeless. One family from Texas traveled to Baltimore searching for hope and shared their journey with ABC 2's Bill Fink. Adam McCleskey leads a difficult life. He has autorecessive polycystic kidney disease, so he has cysts on his kidneys. Adam travels two hours from home three times a week for dialysis treatments, something he's done for the last eight years. It's been very frustrating. It's, it's sad as a mom to watch your child just sit in dialysis as, as the world passes by, and he just sits there. A new kidney would be the answer, but even with several national donor lists, finding a kidney match gets complicated. A lot more complicated. And because of a previous failed transplant and numerous blood transfusions, he's um, developed high antibodies. So it's been hard just to find a, a match on the donor list. Hope fades, but Kelly remains determined. And with the help and support of the Flood Sisters Kidney Foundation from New York, word comes that a match is possible and not far from home. I was just really excited. Mom, let him try. If they won't try, just let them try. And I said, you know, I think I should be tested for... Adam to see if I'm a match for Adam. Brett Connerly Hartman is a very close friend of Adam's cousin. It would be rare that he would be the match that the McCleskies have been waiting for, coming from a different family but being so close to home. You know, we got Johns Hopkins on board and every test kept coming back positive that, you know, I'd be a good match. And with a match made at Hopkins? Let's trade. I want this firm. Yeah. <laughs> Brett and Adam underwent a successful surgery. Two young men who barely knew each other changed each other's lives forever. One sacrificing, so the other survives. If Adam can now live, I mean, that's just amazing to me. At Johns Hopkins Hospital, Bill Fink, ABC2 News.